Welcome. This narrated e-poster will describe Team B2's recommendation for the rainwater harvester system. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is a traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Musqueam people. In this e-poster, we will introduce the Rainwater Harvester System project, our design process, a justification of the choices we made, and why our final decision is the best across many scales. The Rainwater Harvester project seeks to address the issues surrounding access to enough clean drinking water for communities such as Vananda. Specifically, any solution must be affordable, sustainable, and reliable. It must also consider and satisfy all stakeholder needs. Our recommendation, starting from the left of the diagram and moving right, involves catching rainwater via a catchment area on the roof of a house, storing the catch water in a catchment tank next to the house, pumping the catch water through a chlorine injection system, then to a storage tank perched atop a storage tower. And then, when water is needed, water naturally flows from the storage tank through the pipes to the 200, 5, and 1 micron filters, then next to the UV purifier, and then finally to the end user. Our design process involved stakeholder consultation to determine which criteria should be weighted the most. Looking at the chart to the right, we see that cost, reliability, and maintenance are the most important stakeholder satisfaction criteria. Our goal is to propose a system that has the highest level of stakeholder satisfaction over a five-year period, and we see here that when we consider consumption, cost, health, power, maintenance, on-demand flow, reliability, and land use, that our proposed solution has an 81% satisfaction rating. Throughout the design process, our team utilized computer models such as Excel, physical prototypes, and simulations to determine the best combination of parameters for delivering enough clean drinking water to users on demand. Examining our specific design choices, our team determined through computer simulation that a storage tank 2.5 meters above and 18.2 meters away from the end user would suffice to deliver enough clean drinking water to the users. Additionally, a catchment area of 100 meters squared was found to be ideal for water collection. A collection tank of 2,500 liters enables maximum flexibility on days with the largest difference in rainfall. With respect to our storage tank, we determined that a tank with a volume of 35 meters cubed or 35,000 liters would be the most optimal. Furthermore, our analysis also determined that a storage tower of 5 meters will increase the overall satisfaction even when we consider the additional cost of $8,083. Examining our piping infrastructure, we determined that 36.4 meters of pipe at a cost of $1,638.02 will enable us to maintain 73.5 kilopascals of water pressure in the house. Taking a look at our choices for filters, we determined that filtering the water from storage to the house using the 200, 5, and 1 micron filters would be the most optimal even when we consider the higher upfront and maintenance costs. With respect to the UV disinfection, we selected the 50 watt option as it would allow us to disinfect more water per minute. In terms of whether we should use chlorine or ozone, we ultimately determined through computer simulation that chlorine would be the most cost-effective option. When considering the best pump to use, we found that pump B was the most cost-effective, efficient, and adaptable pump when compared to the other two choices. Looking at the flow rate, we determined, looking at the parameters stated previously, that we can confidently provide an on-demand flow rate of 29.424 liters of water per minute. In terms of our power source, we made the decision that a diesel generator, even considering its higher cost, would outperform and outlive options involving solar panels. 
Additionally, a diesel generator will work the same whether it's day or night and in all weather conditions. Our system uses 4.14 megajoules of energy on average daily and approximately 76.5 liters of diesel fuel over five years. However, some concerns were raised about the health and environmental impacts of diesel exhaust and chlorinated water. These concerns were dismissed through further analysis of today's cleaner, quieter, and more efficient engines and water disinfection methods. Ultimately, over five years, the diesel generator will produce 1,870 kilograms of CO2 at a total operating cost of $4,875. Considering our chlorination system, we predict that 4.94 grams of chlorine will be used per day and over a five-year period. This system will have an operating cost of $1,000. Overall, we expect that 6,002.86 kilograms of CO2 will be released over five years of operation. In terms of maintenance events, we determined that a combination with the diesel generator and chlorination system resulted in the least amount of maintenance events. This drives down costs. Ultimately, over five years, we predict a total operating cost of $40,001.70, which is a 62% reduction when compared to shipping in water. Once again, here is our final recommendation for the rainwater harvester system and a summary of the parameters we discussed. On behalf of Team B2, I thank you for your time.